Hey, wildlife enthusiasts, welcome back to the go-to place for discovering the incredible wonders of the animal kingdom. And today we're diving into the realm of rare animals, uncovering the extraordinary and the elusive. The first animal is the black and chestnut eagle. The black and chestnut eagle, or Isidore's eagle, is a blackhead predator seen soaring through the Andean cloud forest. You can find it from Colombia to Argentina in the Andes Lay. It prefers to live in the dense, montane forests along the mountain slopes and undisturbed cloud forests. A T live in elevation between 1,500 meter to 300 meter. It is also an apex predator in its forest ecosystem. It hunts a variety of prey of small to medium-sized mammals like possums, monkeys, and coatimundi. Even though it is an apex predator, the black and chestnut eagle is quite rare. Its estimated population is only 370 to 1,500 individuals existing in nature. The next animal is the El Rincón stream frog. The El Rincón stream frog is critically endangered, with just a handful of isolated populations remaining. They are microendemics, existing only in a tiny area of less than 5 square kilometers on the Solomcura Plateau. Unlike most frogs, they are almost entirely aquatic dwelling in the headwaters of the Valcheta stream, invasive rainbow trout are a major threat, preying on the frogs. Trout have forced the El Rincón stream frog to take refuge in the hottest parts of the streams, which are less suitable for them. There are ongoing efforts to recover El Rincón stream frog populations. These include controlling invasive trout and protecting their habitat. The next animal is the Northern River Terrapin. The Northern River Terrapin, also known as Batagar, the Northern River Terrapin is regarded as a species of the freshwater turtle which is indigenous to South and Southeast Asia. In the past, this particular turtle has been widely distributed from the river systems of Bangladesh, India, Myanmar, and Thailand. Nevertheless, the numbers of their populations have reduced drastically nowadays rendering them probably the rarest turtle kind in the world. Their food source include underwater vegetation, crustaceans, mollusks, and also small fish. Conservation programs have been considered for this animal, and the resources needed to restore the habitat and biota of the turtle in general are insufficient. The next animal is the, the Dinagat Moonrat. The Dinagat Moonrat is one of the indigenous mammals of the Philippines. The incredible coat is composed of two color shades which function as a way of providing superior camouflage in the forest. The Dinagat Moonrat chooses quiet areas with dense vegetation as its home, which it seeks in the fantastically beautiful El Nido and Siargo dry forests. They have claws that are specially designed to dig through leaves and the forest debris. Along with them, there is a long snout, which allows them to look for their favorite food such as beetles, worms, and other invertebrates. The habitats of the moonrat have drastically shrunk due to the fact that forests are being cut for agriculture and mining practices, which shrink the area available to the moonrat. The next animal is the Hirola antelope. The Hirola antelope is a subspecies of hunter's heart beast is an endangered and critically rare species of antelope which is found on the border of Kenya and Somalia. The historical range of them was near Ethiopia, but their population is lower today. This antelope ruminant inhabits mainly arid and slightly acidic grasslands, in which the preferred habitat is the area with short grass. The Hirola antelopes are social animals, and they live in small social groups, consisting mostly of the females and their young ones. The Hirola antelope is currently critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The main threats to their survival include habitat loss due to agriculture, competition with domestic livestock, and poaching. The next animal is the Albany adder, a rare viper species found in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa area that is renowned for its rarity and unique nature in the animal world. The habitat of this reptile is of shrubbery that joins rocks, which are perfect for an extremely patient predator that can lay in wait for its prey. With an average length of 25 centimeters and a maximum of 34 centimeters, the Albany adder's diet mainly consists of small lizards, especially geckos. Major risks that the Albany adder face are in the loss and fragmentation of its habitat. The variety of recent infrastructure development consisting of surface mining, wind turbine farms, and road works among other forms of the processes results in the loss of remaining habitat of this species. The next animal is the mouse-tailed dormouse. The mouse-tailed dormouse has gained notoriety for its peculiar appearance and attention-grabbing features. 
They live in grasslands, vineyards, and riverbanks. They indulge in invertebrates as their primary food source. This includes insects, spiders, and snails. They may also regulate their feeding schedule by taking fruits, nuts, and seeds as a supplement for it. The mouse-tailed dormouse is unfortunately instilled with a lot of threats. The process of making what are now great farmlands from natural landscapes eradicated nesting places and took away older trees that dormice live in. Thus, this destruction of existing habitat and corridors between fragmented areas are equally crucial steps. The next animal is the peacock tarantula. The peacock tarantula is native to central southern India. Only the deciduous forests of Andhra Pradesh have these known populations within the reserved forest area. This beautiful tarantula has a lavender blue coat, thus enabling it to stand out as unique in the family of tarantulas. Unlike the more common tarantulas which have those typical brown and black bodies, unlike common spiders that actively hunt with their webs, peacock tarantulas sit and wait for their food to come nearby. Habitat loss is a very grave danger to the peacock tarantula in the wild. The excessive cutting of the deciduous forest in India causes the loss of the population to the side of extinction in the possible future. The next animal is the golden langurs. The golden langurs are native to the northeast regions of India, Assam, Meghalaya, and Tripura states. The golden langurs are mainly inhabitants of the lower hills subtropical, evergreen, and mixed deciduous forests associated with the Indian subcontinent. A typical group is made up of several females and their young as well as a dominant male adult. The social structure serves as a guarantee of their security and in raising the young. A golden langur is a nomadic primate whose diet consists primarily of leaves, fruits, flowers, and seeds. It is registered as endangered on the IUCN Red List. The numbers are in decline, and the reasons for decline are habitat loss, fragmentation of habitat, and human-wildlife conflicts. The last animal is the angel sharks. The angel sharks have a unique appearance, with flattened bodies and a broad, wing-like pectoral fins that give them a resemblance to rays. Angel sharks are primarily found in temperate and tropical coastal waters around the world. Their eyes and spherical small openings behind the eyes are positioned on the top of their flattened head, allowing them to bury themselves in the sand with only their eyes exposed. Angel sharks are ambush predators that bury themselves in the sand or mud, waiting for Prey to come close, angel sharks are listed as critically endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature. They face threats such as habitat degradation, overfishing, and accidental capture in fishing gear. And that concludes our expedition into the world of rare animals. If you were as fascinated as I was, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow wildlife enthusiasts. Remember to subscribe for more captivating adventures into the animal kingdom.